parts of the guitar. Guitar, it is usually divided into three major parts. One is head, then neck and the body. So if we see this part is head, this part you can call neck and this part is body. Now let's begin with the head. So this part is known as the head stock. Some people call it head stock and some just simply head. Now there are some turning keys here which you use to tune the guitar. These are known as tuning pegs and you can call them machine heads also. Now this part here although it is not labeled in the diagram but I'll zoom it for you. This part is known as this white part from where the string passes from neck to the headstock is known as nut. Now coming on to the second part of the guitar is neck of the guitar. So this complete part is known as neck of the guitar but the front part of this is known as fretboard. Fretboard means a board which has fret. So this part has many a number of like frets. Usually we have uh, 21 to 22 or 24 frets. There are guitars with more than 24 frets but usually that happens in the case of electric not in acoustic. Usually you will find acoustic with um, 18 to 21 or 22 maximum frets. Now coming on to the third part of the guitar. This part is known as the body of the guitar. Body of the guitar has many different structures um, depending on the sound quality you want or depending on the um, depth of the sound that you want but here is this is an um, this is a general example and I'll um, explain now something about the body of the guitar now body has this structure here which is known as pick guard this is used to prevent the scratches coming on to the and the damage happening to this part of the guitar due to constant striking of your um, guitar pick or, or maybe your fingers because this part in the body of the guitar it's been used most and has like a lot of chances to get damaged so that's why we put a pick guard and this is easily removable and you can replace if it is damaged although I have never seen anybody damaging pick guard this hole this is used for uh, like all the sounds travel from the string resonate in the air inside the body and then that's how acoustic guitar produces sound so that's why it is known as sounding hole or sound hole this is body this part here is known as bridge of the guitar now if you see there is this part like white part here and it looks like a bone, some people call it bridge bone and some people call it saddle. So these were the basic parts of the acoustic guitar. Now let's move on and see the electric guitar. So usually acoustic guitar and electric guitar, their parts are same, their playing is same, everything is same. Only the different part is that acoustic guitar does not require an external amp because it is acoustic and it has ability to produce sound on its own but in case of electric guitar you cannot produce sound from electric guitar a loud sound on its own you need an external amp or you need uh, um, different kind of uh, small big amps usually an external amp whatever quality uh, you want they have similar parts like in this uh, diagram you can see the nut the second part this is called nut they have everything same cutaway like in acoustic guitar within this guitar we don't have a cutaway here but in electric guitar you can see a cutaway it's just to accommodate like a reach towards the um, higher frets of the guitar there are many acoustic guitars also which has these cutaways for usually for people those who want to play and soloing at the end of the guitar and want to utilize these frets um, easily and as it's an acoustic uh, as it's an sorry an electric guitar 
you can see uh, different controls here to uh, these two are like usually to control the tonal quality and these two are to control the volume and this is like a volume knob so that uh, this is like a tonal knob so that you can uh, control which pickup you want to work you want the um, like a saddle pickup or you want the neck pickup or you want both of them